Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install the GTS tail light onto the Cayman S. Pretty much going from this to that. The main reason I'm trying to change the tail light from this from the Cayman or the Cayman S to the GTS tail light right there is purely simple this one to me is too red right it's too bright red and if it was like darker like the gt4 maybe i will go with this one but i like this when i see this one for the gts version of the cayman i just like it because it's kind of like a little darker because this is clear and you can see that from the car here i have like a blue and dark theme so this one fit pretty well well i would have preferred if i didn't even have this red strip right here but i can't do without it because this is just how it was made so i prefer to have this one instead of this which is just completely red now let's go ahead and examine even the body of the tail light itself these are the two units that are already uh, removed this is the one that's going to go on the right side and this is the one from the left side now when you look at the housing this housing is completely red although they are identical in terms of forms and shape but the color is just not doing for me now as you can see this one is so red very very red compared to this one who has like a little darker scheme around and i actually dig it so this is the first model that i decided to do on the car and i think it's turning out so well because when you look here you can see that it's really it's really gorgeous i love it now once the car is clean and everything this is going to pop really well and i think that it matches well with the darker line that i have here because i'm trying to have everything shadow so let me go ahead and just show you how to replace it. It's fairly, fairly simple. First thing you have to do is make sure that you pop the trunk. I almost said pop the hood. <laughs> and then once you do that, is it completely open? I guess this is it. Once you open that, this is pretty much what you're going to need. You're going to need a T30. You're going to need this. You will see why you need this one. I'm a little cloth, some gloves and some light just because it's kind of darker in here now the first thing you want to do is kind of remove this top cover they have this little section here where you can just put your hand and literally just pull and that's it now when you pull make sure that these little things come out if she stays in the hole here make sure you remove it put it back in a hole so let's go ahead and put that on the side now the second thing you want to do is to remove this second cover now it's all one piece like this you want to make sure that you remove it going from here all the way to here now that you have removed that first cover what you want to do is pretty much put your hands here and start pulling this one and it's only being held by clips so what i wanted to do actually is to start trying from the top here and pull there you go and it is out now again make sure that when you remove it, these little things you keep it in there it's supposed to be three of them so one two and one right here as you can see here this one is not in there so i have to go ahead and look for it inside the hole somewhere there and there it is so always make sure that you keep those in check and there you go all right now that you have removed that you have to remove this little cover again just put your hand there and just pull comes out pretty simple that's it and then there is a t30 right here that you have to unscrew once you remove the t30 normally you have to just pull the tail light but because this is pretty tight that's when you have to use this piece right here to kind of help you put it out now you just simply put it here on the corner you know force it just gently and then as you can see it's starting to come off and after you come off you just really got it and remember i'm doing this with one hand right now and you have to be very 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 gentle but it's almost out because you can see that there's already a hole here normally i can put my hand here and kind of pull it if i was doing it a little bit with force but again like i mentioned just be very very gentle and there you go and it comes off all in one hand if i can do that with one hand you can surely do it with two hands once you remove it make sure that you clean the area a little bit because you know what are the chances that you're going to take this out just to clean it up i think close to none so you just go ahead and clean up the area pretty well like that and then you are ready to mount the gts tail light 
Although this area here doesn't want to get clean for some reason. Maybe I need a little bit of water. But you know what? I think this is pretty fairly clean. So let me just go ahead and mount the GTS Tela. So you have the GTS Tela here. First step is just to put the connector. And this connector is fairly, fairly, fairly simple to mount. Now, remember when you want to unclip it, all you have to do is literally pull this tab and then pull it the connector out. Now to put the connector back in is self-explanatory. You have this right here and you simply marry them together. And then after you put the connector, you simply align out. This little tab is going into that hole right there. While on the bottom here, you have these uh, one tab here and one thing here that are going to go to this rail, this rail and this rail right here. So once you align those three, you just push the tail light back into place and then put that screw back in there. Once you mount the screw, this is pretty much how it's going to look like. So you go ahead and take that cover, put it back in there. So once you put that cover, you, all you have to do now is just pretty much mount back this top cover. Make sure that the rubber portion is on top of it, just like this. And the way Porsche Shadow things, you have to heat it a little bit. And that's it. And that's it, back into place. Next thing, you take this other cover and place it back so what you do is these two go on the bottom here you put them first and then align all these tabs and then hit it and then that just goes so you align like this in the hole that is here there's two holes here there you go and then align the tabs all the tabs align them first one is in second one is in and then hit it that's it completed good all right guys so this is it you can see the finished product i have it here on the left side and i honestly dig it man i love the look it's just really mean darker and it goes with the theme of the car you know with blue and kind of black and i just again like i can mention i wish that red portion wasn't there but i can do without i definitely love the way it is right now and we have a gangster that came to visit me right there Crippen. <laughs> yes man so if you like this and you want to see more content make sure that you subscribe to the channel also give me a comment if you love the look uh, anything that you want me to do on the porsche any recommendation that you have in terms of maintenance anything with porsche or if or this is related drop in a comment below i would really love to learn from you guys as well so on this note thank you for watching and let me enjoy my car again see you on the next video bye